folks. So I'm talking about fitness boxing training or their ability to throw a punch. Okay, this is not to promote violence or the ability to kick someone's ass or anything like that. When push comes to shove, you want to know how to throw a proper punch and move with agility. Okay, fitness boxing training or combat fitness training, whatever you want to call it, <clears throat> has a multi-purpose benefit. Learning how to punch properly with proper alignment is going to strengthen your entire body in a different way. Moving with agility is a form of athleticism, so it's never a bad thing. Also, moving with agility can be converted to escaping an attacker, something like that, okay? So this is not only self-defense or fitness related, but it's a multi-purpose skill set, okay? And it, it works tremendously. So there's a couple subtleties I want to point out when you're in an on-guard position. This is your, your defense mode. Also, your stance anytime you're not throwing a punch. Okay, first off, your chin is down. Okay, if you get knocked on the chin, you're, you're likely to get knocked out pretty easily. Eyes should be forward facing your target. Also, anytime you're not throwing a punch, your hands are up. Okay, like this. Elbows are in, chin down, looking forward. Okay, now you want to move with fluidity. That doesn't mean you're, you're, you're getting tight the entire time. The only time you're going to stay tight is when you make contact. Okay, when you throw a punch, from the side view, your shoulder is going to protect your chin. Okay, notice that I'm bringing my hand back every time after I throw a punch. It's out quick and back quick. Okay? Looking at your feet, your feet are going to be about shoulder width apart, and you want to move with fluidity. You want to be on the balls of your feet. You want to be able to transfer your energy back and forth fairly easily. Okay, so you can practice being in this on guard position. Chin down, eyes forward, moving with fluidity, and trying to relax with it. Once you're comfortable with that, we're going to start practicing some punches. And the main thing is, your shoulder's going to come in and protect your chin. You're going to draw a straight line from this position, out and back. And you're going to try to turn the thumb down and connect with your first two knuckles. That wrist must be straight. Okay? Those are a lot of tips, but focus on the subtleties and you will get better at it. Once you're comfortable with those basics, try this.